to Birds Out Loud. We want to thank you for subscribing to our channel where we talk about birds, 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 and more birds. So we would like to just start with a little background about the people that you're going to be listening to. One of them is myself. My name is Debbie. Um, I am here in Arizona. I own the Arizona Bird Store. It's 1993. But I have been into birds and into this industry since 1984. Figure it all that out yourself. Anyways, so I've been in this industry since 1984. I uh, was working at a pet shop in the mall, which the mall is not even there anymore, let alone the pet shop. And there was a bird there, it was a spectacle Amazon, and we had two of them, one was a male, one was a female. The male just kind of took to me, and I thought, this is like amazing, these pets are like totally cool, never had a bird before. And I uh, decided to buy the bird because um, he worked so well with me and I worked so well with him and I just thought, oh my God, this is like, this is amazing. And thought that they're all like that and then soon found out that they weren't all like that and that subsequently met a whole bunch of birds that really could care less about me and <laughs> wanted to just see the color of my blood. And uh, then I had to learn how to, you know, work through that. So that bird is actually responsible for sucking me into the bird world and lying to me and teaching me that it's all cool and wonderful and fabulous and then the real world hit and then I was very intrigued about how this whole thing works. And at that time, there was not a lot of information about birds out there, including diet, housing, hand feeding, breeding, uh, not really much in that field out there that a lot of people knew or practiced. Well, there was no internet back then, so. No. <laughs> we had a beeper. <laughs> um, but so sifting through all of this time and sifting through a lot of things that worked and didn't work uh, brought me to um, having my own store and um, getting that in 1993 and then just uh, continuing to work in this field and kept pushing my way through and making a lot of mistakes along the way and then have a bunch of successes consequently. And um, so now I'm wrangled into making these videos for Birds Out Loud. For people like me, really, is what they're for. For teaching. It's much easier to reach people via this way than to try to get them into my store to help them. Um, so we're going this route to try to help as many people out there that we can that have questions about birds, that um, want to learn more about birds, that want to eventually get a bird. Um, they're amazing creatures. Until you have one, you really can't appreciate what they have to offer um, to your life. And it changes your life and you learn to work your life around them but it is definitely 100% um, worth it and fascinating. Agreed. It taught me a lot. Taught me more than I'll ever teach you guys. <laughs> You've taught me a lot. So what about you, Miss Kim? Um, I also don't know how I ended up doing these videos. I was going to help her make some videos and now I'm sat here. So I'm still trying to figure that one out, but um, I mean, I used to be scared of birds. I knew nothing about them other than, you know, you feed some pigeons in the park or some ducks. And that was as far as it went for me until I found oh, myself. How long ago was that? <laughs> Not that long ago. Mm, what? Oh. A couple years ago? I mean, anything other than a pigeon or a duck, and I was actually pretty terrified. So you got the crash course. Oh, I got a big crash course, and now I've got a house full of birds, cockatiel all the way through macaw, 
And like you said, there's, I mean, until you have a bird, you don't know. There's just, they completely change your world. Um, I was going to say, I seem to be a, a lot more okay with poo <laughs> things than I used to be. Which, um, by the way, you have a <laughs> no, I'm not surprised by that at all. The number of times you go out in public and you're like, oh, no. Oh. At least it doesn't stink. Yeah. I mean, it's not like, you know, puppy poo. Right. Anyway, so. I digress. And it, so here we have somebody like myself who has just taken this very long, slow, chronic way of having birds into their life. And then we have the... Jumped into the deep end. <laughs> here we go. Let's do this. Which also led to a lot of very strange phone calls for her. Late night, oh, I think I've killed my bird. Right. I didn't kill my bird. It's actually very hard to do. Or phone calls like, I just read this on Facebook. Uh, Google you think says, I do that? Google says, Google. don't listen to Google, listen to Debbie. So that is one of the reasons, right, that we were talked into doing this, because this was definitely not our idea, but for some reason, one, late, one night over Chinese food, I think we agreed that we were going to do that. But um, to kind of give some real information about your real bird, your real pet in real life, uh, in real time, because they, a lot of things are out there. And I'm sure that it's in every group. I'm sure that the dog people have, you know, crazy fanatics in there that do things that tell you that you're not going to do it, that you're going to kill your bird, that you should do this way, that way, whatever. I'm sure the cat people, horse people, reptile people, and we have them in our Human group. children people mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> like, I don't know about that. My human child is still alive, just saying. We've made it this we far. We could do that. You know. So we're going to put a lot of things to rest that you should or shouldn't do. We're going to offer a lot of information on things that are um, highly educational, having a pain with birds because they are exotic, so it's, it's not like your regular dog and cat, but it doesn't have to be so difficult, right, in training them and dealing with them and living with them and having dinner with them and, you know, uh, just living your life with them. It's more rewarding than it is not and I think it's less harder than what some people make it out to be. And I'm here to make sure that everything she says is understandable <laughs> because I'm new. She's a translator. I say a bunch of stuff and she'll explain to you what I just said. It's pretty much how that works so far. So if you have questions or anything you want to see, send us an email at questions at birdsoutloud.com or drop them in the comments. No question is too dumb. Mm -hmm. I've probably already asked her that question, even if you think it's the dumbest thing ever. So no worries there. We want to help you. Yeah. We're here to help. Definitely. Or entertain. Hopefully I don't think that up. we've gone through all this to not share our experience. True that. So my method or my way of dealing with birds and training birds and having birds and living with birds um, certainly come from my experience, right? And my experience is working around hundreds, probably hundreds of thousands of birds over the course of, I don't know, 38 or plus years. So certainly my experience, most of my experience comes from my clients having birds, right? So they come in and they say, uh, I have a parakeet that does this. I have a conure that does this. I have an Amazon that does this. I have a cockatoo that does this. I got a macaw that does this. 
So my experience is that I'm living through these people. So we've tried different things. We've um, found things that didn't work, found things that, that, do, that does work. And through this, you start to find a, that a lot of the, all of these verbs have just like these individual personalities, their own kind of uh, way of doing things. You find some that are more stubborn than others. You find some that are more compliant than others. You find some that uh, work well with you some of the time and, and then don't work well with you some of the time. Over the course of time, and I come from a, a, a place where I own a bird store, so not only am I having you know, hundreds of birds there almost all the time and having to deal with that, so I come from that angle. I have a crazy three ring circus happening all day long in my store. Dozens of macaws are sitting out, dozens of cockatoos, Amazons, and everybody trying to get along and, 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 and be good. So having grown up in that environment um, is a little different than you having one little cockatiel in your house, right? But just getting back to the where my experience comes from through the hundreds and thousands of people that have had my clients who have had birds and I hear their experience, I listen to what they do and I watch what, how they handle it and then the mistakes that they're making and then the, the ways that they write it. So I've just pulled all of this experience from people, let alone my own experience of having them in the store and I know it's not gonna work for everybody. I actually haven't found anyone yet that I haven't really worked with. I have had some birds that were extremely difficult to work with, but that's not very often. But my point is that um, I'm offering you this information, and if it's not going to work, if it doesn't work for you, then I'm not saying that this is the only way to do things. I'm not saying that my way is the only way. There's plenty of people out there that have had as much experience that I've had, if not more. My biggest problem is that I just don't want people listening to the one person that has had the one bird for the past 10 years of their life and want to come across that this is how they always are. Because they're not. Two birds, same species, could be entirely different. And learning that about your own pet and having to work around that is, is one of the secrets, really, of being successful and getting them to do what you want to do. But again, I want to preface, this is just my way. It has worked for many people, may or may not work for you. I bet that it does, but there's a plenty of other people who do training out there and this is just one method and if you want to try it, do it. Go for it. I dare ya. <laughs> We just want to say thank you again for stopping by and watching our videos. If you like what you see or found it helpful, hit the like button. You have any questions or want to tell us what you want to see next, comment below and please hit the subscribe button. It's going to be awesome! <laughs>